gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation. Welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. We're a little slow getting it out. I had a personal matter that I had to deal with this morning. Nothing bad, but I uh, just had to do it. All right, Cohen testifying today, and guess what we found out? He stole 60 grand from Trump and inflated his legal bills to get the 60 grand. Trump apparently was shaking his head when he was talking. This guy is scum bucket. I mean a complete scum bucket. He is a frothy, muddy metal horse son. Shakespeare insult of the day. Or as like we like to say around Bulldog Nation, a jack wagon. All right, Trump proudly attended Barron's graduation, high school graduation. Uh, Melania and Donald were obviously very happy. It's a very prestigious academy down here in Palm Beach. Congratulations to Barron. He is one tall dude. All right, then after that, Trump went to Minnesota, and he spoke at the Minnesota Republican Convention. You know, folks, by the way, Kentucky had their convention this weekend, Republicans. He's going to win Minnesota. Trump spoke at the NRA. The big controversy is he did a dramatic pause for 30 minutes, he says. Everybody said, oh, he froze up. But apparently, he's saying, no, that was for dramatic pause. He does that from time to time. Trump is kicking Biden's ass with young voters. Don't you love it? Black voters, too. Trump is going to hold a big rally in New York. Put it in play, baby. Put it in play. Trump's team is demanding Biden have a drug test before the debates. Why? Come on. They, Biden's the one that set all these terms down. Why? To make sure he's not pumped up on cocaine. <laughs> the Iranian president, this guy right here, uh, Ibrahim, is that how you pronounce it, Jamie? Ibrahim. Ibrahim died along with his foreign minister in a helicopter crash in Iraq. Good riddance. The problem? They've already replaced him with another guy. Mugarak or something like that. He's just as hard line as him. So it doesn't make any difference. 11 people shot in downtown Savannah. Even in the capitals in the South, bad things happen. Joe Biden spoke at Morehouse College. Look at him. Oh. Trying to tell the black people, Republicans, want to enslave them again. It, it, the things that he says are so dated. He's not hip with it. You know what I mean? He's just not hip. Blacks look at him and say, you're trying too hard, buddy. All right, transgender. This guy right here, a guy, supposed to be a girl, right? This guy won the women's state track meet, was booed. Oregon's a liberal state. Maybe they're going to turn. Say, you know what? Enough of this crap. We'll see. Rudy had a big old birthday party down at Palm Beach. And while he was there, he was served with the papers from what he's being charged with in Arizona. They come and get him. Now, pictured with all those women around him, pictured next to uh, Rudy, as I'm looking at the camera to the right of Rudy, is Martha Vane, my campaign consultant who took $20,000 and didn't do anything and said, don't use her name, which I've sued. Now, she's married to a billionaire. Now, I'm thinking to myself, how come all these rich people don't give Rudy some money? You know? If they love Rudy so much. By the way, I tried to get a hold of Rudy. I was going to help Rudy. I tried to reach. You can't reach Rudy. These people, you can't. No email, no phone number. If anybody's got a phone number and email for Rudy, give it to me. I want to talk to him. I want to help him. Melatonin. These nefarious characters here, the frothy, muddy, metal horse sons that they are, gave melatonin to kids at a daycare center to help them sleep, sprinkled it on their cereal. Nothing bad could have gone wrong there, right? Alito explained that his wife put the American flag at his house upside down based upon what was going around in the neighborhood in distress. By the way, they've shown some of these Supreme Court justices' houses in Washington. I've seen um, uh, Thomas's. They've shown Kevin all. They've showed Alito's. These guys do not live large, folks. <laughs> they do, they're comfortable, but they don't live large. All right, and then we've got this guy right here, Butker, Harrison Butker. Nobody's reported this. Well, they, they're now reporting it. You know that speech caused all the controversy? You know, he gave the speech to that audience, right? Got a standing ovation. Standing ovation. And even Bill Maher says, what the hell's the big deal? This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Be an oracle like Harrison Butker. And don't be a frothy, muddy, meddled horse son jack wagon like Ibrium.
Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, the University of Miami in Oxford, Ohio, graduated 4,000 students this weekend. I just want to say congratulations to all of them. I hope they all got jobs lined up. Kentucky Court of Appeals upheld the firing decision of Detective Miles Cosgrove of the University of, not the University of, the city of Louisville. I don't know much about those facts. It's Breonna Taylor case. McDaniel, the senator from Northern Kentucky, spoke to the Kentucky Mayor's Conference about all the wonderful things they've been able to do with money. I got McDaniel in my crosshairs a little bit relative to a project. Tuesday's elections are coming up. Now, you ready for this? These are the big elections. Trump is on the ballot. By the way, this maybe would be one clip. All right. Trump is on the ballot. You can't make this up. You can still vote for a Ryan Binkley, Vivac, Trump, Christie, and Haley are uncommitted. Also on the ballot, yours truly. My name is above Thomas Massey's for Congress. Uh, if you are in Kenton County, you can vote for Julia Jaddick or Matt Nunn, uh, Savannah Maddox or Jared Likens, Kimberly Mosier versus, or Karen Campbell, Stephen Doan or Diane Brown, just let you know, I'm for uh, Likens. He won't win, but I'm for him. I'm for Mosier. She will win. I'm for Diane Brown. Probably won't win. She used to work for me. Uh, I am for coming to commissioners. You decide yourself. Uh, let me see. In Campbell County, for state rep, there's Hatton, Girding, and Orms. Uh I don't know who I'd vote for there. And then in Boone County, Steve Rawlings or Diane or Dwayne Frolicker. Once upon a time, I got along with Rawlings, but hell with these Liberty guys. They're all for Massey. I say Frolicker. Uh, Christopher Pavesey and Marianne Proctor, same thing. I really liked Marianne Proctor, but she's with the enemy. Uh, Savannah Maddox, Likens. All right, this is the big one. TJ, I'm a creepy, weird, pedophile Roberts versus Ed the Man Massey. Vote for Ed the Man Massey. All right, there we go. 20-year-old crash. Uh, what? A 20-year-old was in a crash. Carl Vogel, life-threatening injuries. This is an independence motorcycle. And Scotty Scheffler. You got to love old Scotty. He got arrested down in Louisville. There's rumors. That the charges are going to be dropped today. We'll see. No, no camera footage. No cam. That's right. No camera. Isn't that something? It never. Whenever something goes down, there happens to not be the old camera, the lapel camera. Ben Brown is the new principal of Holmes High School. Holmes needs to get its act cleaned up. Maybe Ben Brown will do it. What a great American name. What's your name? Ben Brown. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Don't be a frothy, muddy, meddled horse, son. Be an oracle. Hello, Bulldog Nation. Jamie Spinley here with Eri Dieter's World News, the latest world headlines. Iran is observing five days of mourning after the death of President Ibrahim Rizi. First Vice President Mohammad Magbar is now acting president. Tributes are pouring in from world leaders around the world. An Israeli airstrike on a refugee camp in central Gaza has resulted in over 20 deaths, according to Gaza authorities. A U.S. Secretary envoy is visiting Israel following meetings in Saudi Arabia. In other news, China and Cambodia have started their largest joint military exercises, deploying warships near the Gulf of Thailand for the Golden Dragon drills. And Ukrainian boxer Alexander Yusek has defeated Tyson Fury in a split decision, becoming the first undisputed heavyweight champion in 25 years. Yeah, that was a fantastic fight. I paid to watch the fight and my man Tyson Fury from Britain, he lost, but the better man won at the end of the day. Fantastic fight and congratulations to the world champion. That's the latest deadlines. I'll be back tomorrow. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports About Batters. We've got a lot of good stuff. One thing that's not good is I think the Reds were three and seven on this series away. Yesterday they lost by one of the Dodgers. LA De La Cruz only struck out four times yesterday. It's awful. 
awful. They should have had a chance to beat the Dodgers. All right, Scotty Scheffler, the guy that got arrested, you know, the number one golf player in the world. Not only did he get arrested on Friday, but you can't make this up. His caddy wasn't there Saturday because his caddy had to go to his uh, daughter's high school graduation. Scheffler still came on strong yesterday, finished in the hunt, didn't have a chance to win really, but uh, he won a lot of fans. As my good buddy, Hall of Famer Steve Cunningham says, he had the best weekend of defeat anybody's ever had. And the winner, Shoffley. He won the whole thing. Guess how he did it? He birdied on the final hole. DeChambeau was coming on strong, was warming up for overtime. But he held him off. All right, the Pacers knocked out the Knicks. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, The Wolves beat the Nuggets. Knocked the defending champs out. I'm glad about this because I want to see what this guy right here does. All right, Chaz Lanier, the top guy in the portal, still is going to visit UK today. Let's hope Mark Pope signs him up. Dylan Mitchell, formerly of Auburn, is headed to the University of Cincinnati. In Uzerk, beat your man Fury. Jamie, what happened? You let a Russian beat the Brit? I'm not happy about it. I man, that guy's a lot shorter than Fury. Yeah, he outboxed Fury, though. Kind of like Tyson. He outboxed him. Yeah. All right, and then the Thunder lost to the Mavs on a controversial call where uh, Alexander Stilgus, I can't pronounce his name, formerly of UK, fouled P.J. Washington, also formerly of UK, who made two or three free throws last second. Marvin Harris Jr. is being sued for breach of contract by Fanatics. And last but not least, Seize the Gray won the Preakness. Rained on old Mystic Dan's hopes of a triple crown. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture. Kevin Costner had his, all his kids there, five kids, at Cannes Film Festival. And he wept. He got a 10-minute standing ovation after the viewing of Horizon, his epic Western, which is going to have three parts. He's now trying to get financing for the third. But how cool is that, man? Drove him to tears. The Beach Boys. There's a new documentary coming out by the Beach Boys. And they went out where they did the photograph of Surfing USA. And they all got together and uh, had a drink. By the way, Brian Wilson uh, is not doing very well. But uh, the bottom line is, is I'm glad they all got together. Al Jardine, Mike Love, Wilson, setting aside their differences. Harry and Meghan went to Niger, or excuse me, Rudy Giuliani had his 80th birthday party down at Palm Beach where he got served. Everything Rudy does, something, somebody craps on it. Speaking of always getting crapped on, Harry and Meghan went to Nigeria. The guy that greeted him is wanted on a $20 million scam. <laughs> Nigeria. This is, this is what they're left to, going to Nigeria. And Sam Ponder, somebody, or excuse me, Bill Maher, excuse me, Bill Maher defended Harrison Butker's speech. Good for him. Who also defended? Sam Ponder of ESPN, the woke station. What do you think, Jamie? Do you think she's pretty? Take a look. Oh, my gosh. P. Diddy. Yes. This is the hottest pop culture story going. This came out Friday. A video, P. P. Diddy in his towel, hitting, kicking, and beating the ex Cassie who sued him and then signed a confidentiality. P. Diddy should have paid the money before the lawsuit happened. Now P. Diddy has confessed. I tell you right now, his career is over. And by the way, 50 Cent, no, it's um, Kanye says that P. Diddy is a Fed informant. And that's why P. Diddy ain't going to ever get in trouble. Smart of P. Diddy to be an informant. ACM Awards. Guess who won them all? That beautiful young lady right there, Lainey Wilson. She was the big winner. And J-Lo apparently is upset with old Ben that her ticket sales didn't go. But they were out public yesterday. But apparently they're not living in the same house. And Jennifer Garner went to see Ben. I think Jennifer and Ben might be getting back together. Wouldn't that be a great story? How pissed would J-Lo would be? J-Lo's going to call Mark Anthony up. They're back together. Can't we get back together? Come on, Mark. We got to get back together. I look terrible. 
Alex Rodriguez? I don't think so. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.